I think, yeah, I think Matt's run for me personally had a huge influence. It was, it just kind of uh, got me reinterested in the hundred mile distance again. I was like, wow, like this guy just went out and crushed it. And, and uh, I remember when uh, he, you know, he shuffled home in 2004 and, and I was kind of like, oh, well, maybe he just, you know, Matt got a little humbled there. But then when he was going back again in 2005, I don't even remember why I thought this, but I just was like, yeah, I'm sh- I bet he can break 16 hours there. Like it's Matt Carpenter, you know? And, and then he went out and did it. It was really weird how I was like beforehand, I was just kind of assumed that's about the time he would run. Um, but that day, you know, for me personally, it was like, well, 17 hours should be no big deal there then, you know, if Matt can run 1540 or whatever, like I should be trying to break 17, which I was trying to do that day and missed it by a couple minutes. But um, yeah, and then since then, it's just everyone has gotten, you know, someone like Hal, he's been in the game for so long and he's really, like he's stepped up his game to like go along with the sport. Whereas, you know, he was there running Leadville when you could be podium running 18 something hours, you know? Uh, you know, second place even. And, and, uh, but now he's running hard rock in 24 hours. Like, even though he's older, like he's totally decided obviously that he's still going to remain competitive and that's just awesome. And, and so guys like that are really inspiring for me. And then there's just so many newcomers each year that every time you broaden the base of the pyramid, like the point's going to get higher, you know? And so it's cool. This course actually getting broken all the time. I mean, obviously there were other inspiring 100 mile runs before then. I mean, what, cause that happened in 05 and the year before Scott had broken the course record at Western States, you know, just took a couple minutes off. But um, yeah, I mean, Matt's run was, and there historically, even now there hasn't been a ton of competition at Leadville, but uh, I mean, anytime you take a minute per mile off a record at a major race like that, that's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, his, his record there is, continues to be inspiring for me. I mean, it's, big reason why I'm probably going back this year or I am going back this year um I'm hoping just to like try to focus on finishing and winning but I know the course record will be in the back of my mind for sure